Good afternoon, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we'll hope that you will return tomorrow to hang out with us. Here comes Evie. Um, we're gonna have a little bit wonkier of a day today. Peter has some errands he's gonna run on his way home from work. So I'm gonna show you what I'm making for dinner. Why are you hiding? <laughs> what are you doing? I am making a beany, potato-y, tomato-y, stew, soup <laughs> thing. I'll put the recipe that I found online that I'm like briefly following in the description below. But I added potatoes just for a little bit more substance that makes it more of a stew than a soup. Okay, so if you are interested in the recipe, um, I didn't have like the bean mix they talked about, so I just put in a big can of kidney beans and then two, two smaller cans, one black bean, one white great northern bean. I like a lot of different, like a variety of beans. Um, and I just like eyeball it. Um, so yeah, I think it, it'll be fine. I'm just kind of roughly going off of that recipe. Um, what you saw in the pot beforehand was six potatoes, some carrots chopped up, a full onion, salt, pepper, and then like a decent portion of um, garlic. So that's the base and yeah, we'll just, we'll see how it goes, I'll take you along. I actually am getting the vlog up a bit later today, so I have to do that. Um, so I'll do that while that starts to boil. Oh, we're back at Whole Foods, back at, back at Whole Foods, gonna get some snacks. Actually just getting one snack because Sarah was not feeling good this morning and slept in and she needed the rest. Gotta take care of her body mentally and physically. So we're gonna get some s'mores because Saturday is National S'more Day, but we saw a fun advertisement with the guy from The Sandlot, which is like a hugely Midwest video, but I am here to pick these s'more supplies up. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this, and they have, they got cookies. They got vegan double chocolate, but I think I'm gonna have to come back and get some of this. All right, step one is to find the most delicious looking vegan chocolate. So many fancy decorative wrappers and everything. I never, I, I never. I never thought I'd have that much trouble. I forgot last time I was here that they don't have a good graham cracker selection for vegans. So we divulged to a cookie selection like we did last time. So after 25 minutes of staring at the cookies and the chocolates, and they actually had the right kind of um, marshmallows in stock with the proper size. I'm not leaving. And fun uh, one more trip stop before I go home. I have to get fitted for a tuxedo. All right, I'm just gonna real quick do a little Peter, Peter rambles here in the car. More like a complaining rambles. And it's the one of the few things I don't like living here in Florida, about living here in Florida, is everything is so far away and I know that's like a lot of places it's like that but it is there's nothing close so that's why I like when we tell people we want to move to a parking like that's so far from Disney I'm like yeah it's 40 minutes but like in reality we were talking to somebody else and they're like and you really think about it everything is 40 minutes away from everything in Florida and it's true like I have to go to men's warehouse to get fitted for my tux for Dom's wedding next month um which we're all, a lot of us are running a little late on getting fitted. Anyway, it's almost six o'clock and I'm gonna be at this men's warehouse in probably the next 10 minutes. Gotta get fitted, then go home. So I probably won't even be home till close to seven. Quickly scarf down a, some dinner. I got a nice eight mile run to do tonight. So I think Sarah and I, we're gonna try to go to Fort Wilderness maybe, or um, Boardwalk, I don't know. But this last minute, partially on my fault because Dom did tell us about it on like reminded us on Thursday or Friday of last week to go get fitted I could have done it over the weekend my fault but it is what it is 607 took about another 25 minutes to get here from when I last picked up the camera but I am here ready to get fitted there it is right there I booked it got it put the deposit down so I'm gonna pick it up actually in Michigan Thought that'd be easier to pick it up there rather than get it here travel in an airport all the way to all the way to Detroit 
I don't know how customs would handle that nice tuxedo. I don't want to get it messed up, but it is 631. It took less time to get fitted for my tuxedo than it did to find those cookies and chocolates at Whole Foods. That's not okay. That's not right. I don't know what that means about society, but time to go. So I added um, a big old can of diced tomatoes, cumin, paprika, garlic, salt, pepper, some crushed red pepper, what else? Some oregano and parsley. And right at the end, I just put in like two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And it's pretty dang good. I'm home. Did you say that at Beyonce? No, Yamins. Yamins, okay. I asked if the boys were home and I thought Sarah said they're, no, they're at Beyonce. And I was like, I didn't know she was in town. They're not, they're at that, that British pub. Um, but yeah, like I said on my phone just now, um, 7.05, so it took another like 40 minutes, like uh, the new theory is, everything in Florida is 40 minutes away. Tomato, tomato, right? But we gotta eat and we gotta figure out what we're doing. I think it's boardwalk, but I gotta talk to this little chicky bird over here. We got a little storm a-brewing. Um, it is little in size, but it is mighty in power. It's just a matter of time until there's like a huge lightning. for it. Wait for it. Oh, did I get it? I feel like it doesn't look as dark as it actually is on it's the camera. Dark the ocean deep. Wow. <laughs> there was just a crazy lightning that was like totally horizontal. It was a long living lightning alliteration. It was for our eyes only, I guess. You guys know that I got two, two and a half foot titanium rods on my back. I'm like a running lightning rod. Did you already say you were running? Yeah. I, uh, like that guy. Said, I said earlier, yeah, like that guy. Okay. I said earlier when I was vlogging, when I was driving everywhere. It was so funny, I, you didn't see it yet, but I took more time to find the chocolate and the cookie than uh -huh. I did to get fitted. Oh, <laughs> well, no fire. We spent all that time getting the supplies. No, we missed it. Oh. The campfire was at 7.30. So I literally drove. I guess I was just had like the timeline of Fort Wilderness on my mind where it's like campfire. But like and we like, can go to another one. Like, yeah. The ingredients and aren't gonna the bittersweet thing about me not finding graham crackers, I bought two different kinds of like soft baked cookies. So we're still gonna have some of those. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of chocolate. So the two options of cookies are actually both the kinds of the cookies it's the same brand of cookies that I think the cruise line holds. So if we ask for milk and cookies. And Disney. And Disney. All right, so we got the Enjoy Life brand soft baked cookies of chocolate chip and snickerdoodle. And then the fancy chocolates, please hold. So we got Alter Eco, Quinoa Crunch. What? I figured Quinoa that. Your chocolate. But I feel like it's going to be like a crunch bar. Then we got. That just seems blasphemous. Then we got uh, Coconut 70%. Delicious. And last but not least, ginger dark chocolate. Ooh. Cheers. <laughs> did I get you? You did. They taste like a Christmas party. Those are the snickerdoodles. They're small. Yeah. They're like little They're petite. small, but they're really good. They are like, I would say like a little dryish, but yeah. in a good way. Yeah, they're soft cookies. So that's especially why it feels like a Christmas party because it's like a little stale tasting. Yes. So we're going to get one box of those and a jar of almond milk every night on our cruise yes. and we do it all every night let's do a chocolate taste test yes oh it's gonna pour don't look don't look <laughs> <laughs> it's so dark because <laughs> your eyes are closed in taste. It's got a bite to it. Kind of bite. A bitter bite. Like a quinoa bite. A quinoa bite. That's what it was. Did it taste like a crunch bar? Kind of. It oh. felt like a crunch bar. Oh, yeah. It's really dark. Chocolate. Okay. Get a hint of chocolate. A hint of chocolate? Oh, 
This one is gonna be my favorite. Coconut? Nope. Ginger? Look at this lighting. Thank you, Peter. The coconut last one had like shreds of coconut in it. What brand were those? Feel. Fair trade, organic. Ooh. I think that one might have been my favorite. You know what? I thought the ginger was my favorite, but I think overall texture, chocolate, ratio, sweetness. So yummy. Really mellowed out the dark chocolate to it. Yeah. All of them are really, really good. And the flake is good picks. The crunch that I took. I mean, they should be good, good, good picks by the amount of time. <laughs> They should be all good picks by the amount of time I spent in the Whole Foods. We're watching illuminations off the reflection of the building. <gasps> reflections of windows. <laughs> <laughs> Is it funny? It was so funny. I needed to go on a run. Yeah, but we're on the swing and it's so enjoyable. And it's so light to go. <laughs> it's so blurry too. Goodbye, goodbye. I, I, I. You can do it. Okay, I will. What should I listen Go to? Go say hi to Hollywood Studios Christmas for music. me. music? Yeah, that's a good idea. About Time, One Republic, Lumineers, Ben Folds, Bucket List Workout. Let's be honest, it's going to be Bucket List Workout. Okay, Bye. don't get rained on or do it might feel really good. Okay, if you didn't know where the solarium is, this is the lobby. I entered this way from inside, but if you were coming from the parking lot, you'd be coming in this way. And straight to your left. The gift shop and like little quick services is to your right, but the solarium is to the left. I'm done with my very hot and sweaty run, and I think Sarah's asleep in the solarium, so I have to go in there all sweaty. All right, new game plan. I didn't have to walk all the way to the beach club because I remembered that the solarium always freaks me out and it's at the right in the front of the beach club. So I just have to run through mm -hmm. the main portion of the lobby looking like a sweaty fool. And I can peek around the corner here to see what's going on with Sarah. I bet she's asleep. I know she's talking to somebody. Look who I found. I was not asleep. She was not asleep. I was having a great time with great company. Yes. <laughs> but we want to give out Two quick shout outs. Yes. One to a gentleman who came in with the Haunted Mansion shirt that we were chatting with the lovely family. We're super sorry that we didn't get to say hi to you. We feel terrible. We were looking for you in the lobby after we said goodbye to the family. <laughs> Thank you so much for at least saying hi. Yes, and we're sorry we didn't. And I was, I am super sweaty and gross and smelly, and I wouldn't have wanted to get any of that in or around or on you. So uh, we do really wish we found you afterwards, and we're sorry. And thank you, Ward family, for chatting with me basically Peter's entire run. I was not expecting that. But that was a while, because that, that was, was like great. an 80, yeah. mi 80 minute run. Yeah. So thank you guys, and enjoy your last full day tomorrow. And a bonus up shout out to the entire Friendship Boat. And you guys know how I feel about Friendship Boats. When I was leaving Hollywood Studios for my last mile, there was a Friendship Boat, and I was like, you guys know I despise Friendship Boats. And I was like, I wonder if I could catch up to it from the stretch from Hollywood Studios to Swan and Dolphins, pretty much a straight line. And I was like, I wonder if I can. And I was like, I'm gonna try, but not really try, because I've, I just ran seven miles, this will be my eighth mile, and I don't need to push it. Let's walk across this grass. Um, and I was like, you know what, as I realized it, because those friendship boats are slow, I was like, I think I'm catching up to it. And about halfway through it, I realized that one family was like keeping an eye on me, so I like sped up a little bit, and I realized the kids and the family started cheering me on, and right as the kids started cheering me on, I started running faster, and then there was like, because it was so late, it was about 10.30 p.m. There was a whole backside of the friendship boat that started cheering me on. And so then I just started like full blast Disney magic sprinting and I beat the friendship boat and they were all like, yeah. <laughs> it was one of the most magical running experiences yes, in a very right. long time. I am so sweaty and tired because that storm that you saw, the lightning, made it real sticky and humid. Message time, message time. Everybody loves message time. Do not grow old no matter how long you live. Never cease to stand like curious children before the great mystery into which we were born. Albert Einstein. All I'm doing is trying to go to bed. But she's got other plans. She wants to play with the rope. I have a very important announcement. This that's been hanging in our kitchen with our last names from our wedding. I'm getting it customly modified.
to include Eve's family. Sloane was her mom's name. Wait, I thought that was her grandma's name. Sloane was her grandma's name. And we vow to learn more about Sloane. <laughs> Eve, say it. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh, she's tired. You're so tired. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>